Hello there and welcome back to the Tomarosa. We decided to do a video today about our barn. We've done a lot of videos about the construction of our barn and you've seen parts of our barn in our dairy chore videos and such but we really haven't done a video that puts them all together and kind of wraps things up so that's what we're going to do today. We'll take you on a tour so why don't you come along. Our barn is 48 feet wide by 60 feet long and we have two wing <laughs> good stewardess. We <laughs> we have two lean tos that are 12 feet wide and run 60 feet. And the lean to on my left is where the dairy is at, and that has the milking parlor, the milk house, and the processing room. And so if you can do math, that means that the center portion is 24 feet wide. Behind me, you'll see four sets of doors. Where do they go? Behind door number one over here is the dairy, and that first door goes into a little office and storage room. We have another door over here, mirroring it. This goes into a feed and tack room. Directly behind me down low is the doors into the main part of the barn. And then above those, we have our hay doors for bringing the hay into the barn with our hay trolley. Where shall we go first? Let's go into the feed and tack room. The cat is super excited to get in here because this is also where we keep his feed. Hi kitty. This space here is 12 by 12. Uh, pretty much all of our construction is in 12 foot increments. We have a shelf with some cow supplies. Uh, we actually keep a lot of our extra milk bottles in here. And then we have some feed stuffs. Uh, we have our awesome salvaged solid wood door here with a, a window and that leads into the barn. Well, we're disturbing the cows. And now we are in the main part of our barn. We have the remainder of this 12 foot lean to which we've kind of using for the calves over there. And then we have our main 24 foot wide by 60 foot deep barn. We have divided this pretty much between animal housing and hay storage. As you remember on our previous videos, we do loose hay. So this is the inside where you see the hay doors. And that's where the hay trolley is and drops the hay, which we're looking forward to making a lot of hay this coming summer. And over here, we have our cows patiently waiting for some of the hay for dinner. We do have a door out of our barn. This goes to the milking parlor. We also have a big, huge opening facing south. And a lot of people have asked, are you going to close that in or put in doors? And we have it. We've thought about some different things, but we've gone through almost two winters with it. And since it faces south, it gets a lot of really good sun. Uh, our winds aren't normally from the south. And I think we'll just leave it that way. One of the questions that we get a lot in our videos about our barn is, are we going to add a second story? And the short answer is no. Uh, when we designed this barn, we wanted everything on one level. And we really, we could put in a second story, but it wouldn't work good for our hay uh, systems because with the hay trolley, you know, we have the track hanging down, then you got about two feet of trolley, and then you got about three feet of forks. Um, as you can see, when we pick up hay with the trolley, it barely clears that door. And so, you know, when, once we get the hay in here and filled, we're dragging hay across the top of the stack. So we're using the space vertically very well. And so it would just be in the way to have a second floor. Additionally, we love how bright and open and airy this entire barn is. Uh, to put in a, a floor, you know, definitely make it a lot darker and more confining. And, and we just love the way this barn feels. It almost feels like we're in a cathedral when we're in our barn. 
Now we're going to start a tour of the dairy portion of the barn, which is everything past this wall. This is actually the exit door from the milking parlor, so this is not where we're going to start our tour. Here we are behind the barn, standing on our wonderful concrete pad. Uh, we put this in in the spring of 2020. So our first winter we had the cows in the barn. We did not have concrete back here and it was terrible. We had scraped all the topsoil off for constructing the barn and so it was just a giant mud pit back here. We had thrown gravel, we threw wood chips. This concrete pad has been awesome. It gives us a, a place where it's got, it's outside, sturdy footing. We got their water trough. We got a set of headlocks so we can lock them up for vet work or breeding. And then this door here is the entrance to the milking parlor. So this door is where the cows come in and we have two milking stalls, serve side openers. So the way these work is this entrance gate can be opened from the milking pit and the cow comes in. And then when they're done milking, we can open this exit gate and they can leave. And we have two of these stalls. They're exactly the same. And then we have our milking pit. We have designed the milking pit at a comfortable height for both Virginia and I to milk. Uh, the number we both agreed upon was 34 inches. Plus or minus, just a little bit, depending on where you're at because of the slope of the floor. Behind me is our little surge uh, vacuum pump, which we do plan to build a little outside hut for our vacuum pump to get the noise out of here. But otherwise, the dimensions on this space are 12 feet wide by 24 feet long. So we are in the milking parlor, and now we're going to go to the milk house. Welcome to the milk house. The milk house is where we bring in the milk in our milking bucket and we put it in our milk tank. Milk it has to get cooled down below 40 degrees in two hours. This milk tank is a 1958 Van Vetter made in Seattle that we salvaged and it holds 130 gallons. We have a controller that makes sure that it maintains that temperature and usually it hangs out around 30, 40 degrees. We also have our milk house sinks. They have this round bottom and helps more uh, washing our milking equipment. This is a jetter system to wash our milking cloth, which works great. And we have all of our other stuff. We have our milk strainer, another milk can, our buckets, gloves. This is the pipe where we're going to pipe things over to the pasteurizer. And we have a separate hand washing sink. This space is 12 feet by 12 feet. And it does have to be separated from the milking parlor with a self-closing door. Now this is where on most dairy farms uh, it would stop. You have a milking parlor and you have a milk house and then a truck would come and pump the milk out of the tank. But we process our own milk and we have a processing room. This is our processing room. We have our little 30 gallon vat pasteurizer here. We have a three bay stainless steel wash sink for washing bottles and equipment. We also have a hand sink. Uh, this is our bar made for washing bottles. So this actually sits in the sink with hot soapy water and all of these brushes rotate and so you just put the bottles on top of the brush. And it cleans them and these ones rotate as well. So it cleans the outside of the neck. Uh, we have some work tables, a rolling cart, and our big fancy stainless steel refrigerator where we keep our milk. Overall, this space is 12 feet wide by 18 feet long. We got one more room. This is our office and storage area. We have a computer and a desk, our filing cabinet, some of our awesome stuff for sale. And, and some antique bottles. Oh yeah, and our antique milk bottles. And on the walls, we have, we went to Jersey, so we have some things from Jersey. 
We also have our maps where we keep track of grazing and when we spread manure. Over here is where we store our milk bottles before we wash them and we also have shelves to store other things that we use in the dairy and on the farm. This space is six feet wide by 12 feet wide. And we go out this front door and we're back out in front of the barn. Ta-da! This is what people see when they pull up to our barn and our dairy. Thanks for coming along on our tour of our barn. If you're really interested in it, we made a whole series of videos of how we built it. So check those out. And then also in the near future, when Virginia gets onto it, we're gonna have some resources on our website about dimensions and such and equipment we use. Until next time, we'll see you on the Tomarosa.